Jada Wyman, how did you first become a goalkeeper in football? Um, well, I grew up in Wagga originally and I played probably every sport you could think of, um, but uh, I was mostly involved in AFL and you could only play until you were 13 as a girl at that time. So I had to start looking for other sports that I wanted to enjoy and uh, football was it. So playing there, I tried for the Wagga rep team and um, there was no positions left except goalkeeper. So I was more than happy to jump into the spot that doesn't require that much running. So um, yeah, that's how I got here. <laughs> what a save by Wyman. Jada Wyman, when called upon, has starred this season. Is it hard being away from where you grew up? Um, yeah, I've kind of gotten a little bit more used to it, but uh, as I've gotten older I know when I want to go home and I need to go home to refresh myself mentally and physically. Can you tell me about your Indigenous heritage and what it means to you? I'm from Radri and Yorta Yorta, my mum being Radri, my dad Yorta Yorta. Um, I grew up more on Radri land, but uh, yeah, Yorta Yorta is down in Victoria and I got to go down there and visit every now and then. My heritage is very important to me, I guess. My pop um, on my mum's side was a big leader in pushing a lot of um, things in Wagga in terms of the Aboriginal legal service and the Aboriginal medical service with my nan as well. Having people like that in my life, very inspiring people and uh, strong minded people, they've taught me to do the same, to push through any barriers that you have and to continue to grow and uh, I guess lead as an example as an Indigenous and proud Indigenous person. What sort of barriers have you had to overcome to get to where you are now? I've had mentally physical barriers, uh, some mental ones, having racism as a young kid, like you want to learn how to deal with those things, not that it should be a thing that you have to learn to deal with, but um, the world comes at you sometimes and you just got to know that you're more important than the bad things that come at you. So. I've had those moments, but I've also had some physical ones where I've had bad injuries um, with my knees, and um, which have cost me a couple of years in my short career. Yeah. And Jana Wyman says, not on my watch. And you've been close to the Matildas a couple of times to playing a game there, including when you got injured too, so that would have added to the frustration. At the time I actually got surgery, I was meant to go in for a camp which was very heartbreaking at the time and uh, I just knew that I wanted to be there and um, that showed me that how much I wanted it, which I just had to work to get back there and I've been fortunate enough to go in a few more times since, uh, uh, since then, so hopefully I get to play my role in the upcoming World Cup, but uh, i just got to keep my head down and keep working. Do you see yourself as a, as a role model to younger Indigenous people, whether or not they're in sport? Um, yeah, look, I, I'm, I don't really like to look at myself as a role model, I guess, but I do like to make decisions that will help other people. Like, I want to make sure that the way I conduct myself on and off the field is in a positive way. A lot of the young Indigenous kids um, that pursue football and make big decisions and brave ones to move away from their home, they're probably more of an inspiration to me and they keep me going every day um, trying to pursue my dreams. You've had some, some great times with Sydney FC in the last couple of seasons, finishing on top of the table but you've lost a couple of grand finals as well so is that something that burns within you and within the team heading into the next season? Losing two grand finals is is hard but it's also character building. Unfortunately in Australia that's how it is, uh, the championship is more important than the premiership. Yeah I believe you're a bit of a Michael Jackson fan <laughs> is that right? Uh, have, have, you, have you got a signature move? <laughs> Yeah, look, I don't know. <laughs> Not asking you to do it now, but uh, what about the moonwalk? Yeah, moonwalk is probably one of my favourites, yeah. I, Was that something that you were into as you were growing up? Yeah, my family loved Michael Jackson and uh, uh, yeah, I guess that was kind of put onto me as well a little bit, just being around the music. Um, I think it's amazing music, king of pop, so yeah. You did some hip hop dancing, didn't you, when you were growing up? Um, I did a little bit. I also did like uh, ballet and stuff like that. So I enjoy dancing, I enjoy music. It's something that I guess frees the soul a little bit. That'd help as a goalkeeper, wouldn't it? Having the moves out there? <laughs> I guess, yeah, you gotta uh, be a bit agile across the, across the field, or should I say the dance floor? I don't know. <laughs> What advice would you give to a young Indigenous boy or girl who wants to follow in your footsteps? I just hope that they believe in themselves to know that they can do whatever they want if they put their mind to it, put the work in. I've had ups and downs. What you see on the field is a result of a lot more underneath the surface of hard work and down times and up times. So I think it's more just knowing that not everything happens overnight, but if you work hard over a good time that you'll eventually get there no matter how long it takes. Just put your mind to it and I know that if you ever need to talk, I'll back you anytime.